Hey guys, so today I'm here to do a bit of a different um, video. It's going to be a review, but it's a bit of a different video for my channel. Um, I hope that that's okay. I've had so many questions about my mod, and I just figured that if I make a YouTube video, I can reach a big platform um, and answer all of your guys' questions. Um, I'm huge in vaping. I smoked cigarettes for seven years, which <laughs> sounds ridiculous, but I started very young and got very addicted very fast. It just started off with like smoking a cigarette at the park with older kids thinking I was cool and then I didn't realize I was addicted until I didn't have one. Um, I tried so many times to quit and I just couldn't until I started vaping. So I know it sounds cliche and kind of dramatic but I feel like vaping saved my life. Um, I can breathe so much better. I haven't had a cigarette in almost a year. October will be a year. Um, and I'm just super proud of myself, but I couldn't have done it without vaping, which again sounds really dramatic. Um, vaping is very controversial, uh, but that was just kind of my background story. Vaping is very controversial. Um, is vaping good for your lungs? No, no, but the air you breathe is not good for your lungs. Okay, cigarettes have formaldehyde, which is what they fill you with when you're dead. That's what they fill dead people with, formaldehyde. They've got rat poisoning. They've got all these harmful chemicals. What's in vape juice? <clears throat> Let's see here really quickly. Oh shit, I was gonna get all cocky on you, but I don't have the box. <laughs> um, so essentially, it's vegetable glycerin, flavoring, and nicotine if you need the nicotine. That's all that is in vape juice. It's not like all these crazy chemicals like that are in cigarettes. So anyway, the mod that I have is the cartel revenant i don't know if you can see um i have the smock cloud beast tank and then i have this caesar extra glass here um and that's also a custom drip tip so i'm gonna kind of get into my thoughts my review let you guys know what i think yeah just keep watching That I have I have the um, cartel revenant that's like super awkward to see I have the cartel revenant it looks like this this is a completely unique mod the way that these mods work is they don't make any two like this is made out of resin um, and so basically you can't create the exact same design twice are there some that are blah, 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 blah. <laughs> are there some that are gonna be similar absolutely but you'll never find a mod that looks exactly like this one with these designs in it um I'd never heard of this mod before I've never heard of this brand before I just walked into a vape shop one day looking by a new mod and I saw this guy who was so pretty um and decided to pick him up so let me just give you a little bit of background information I might be looking over here a couple of times because I have my little cheat sheet on my computer uh basically this goes up to 160 watts it also does have a temp mode which can go up to 100 and 315 degrees Celsius or 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it takes two 18650s right here through the bottom. As you can see, it's got this little latch. Um, and you take dual 18650s, which obviously, well, I guess not obviously, but they're not included. Um, it has a front micro USB cord, so you just wanted to buy one pair of batteries and completely get it done with. Um, the display is 0 0.91 inches. It's an LED screen. Actually, LED screen. Um, the voltage range is anywhere from 0 to 8.5 volts, which is pretty intense. So the complete side, the dimensions, and I'm cheating here, are 95.2 by 51.2 by 26.2, and that's in millimeters. So it's about an average size mod, I would say. I have pretty small hands. Um, and they like almost wrap all the way around it so but I'm not really used to much bigger mods um, in my opinion let me see here um, the output what it yeah it gives full 60 um, it's got a USB upgradable firmware so basically this is a um, knockoff of the DNA 200 chip so it's basically like the like the Kroger brand <laughs> uh, essentially um, it's supposed to work just as well I think that the chip itself works perfectly fine 
Uh, it's really well made. It feels heavy. It feels nice. Um, and it feels sturdy. So really quick, I just want to go over some of the features. Um, it's got the custom curve of wattage or CCW. So this allows you to set up a custom, custom vaping curve that changes in 0.5 second increments to your preference. So basically this mod is like 100% customizable. Um, but also has bypass, which allows you to use this as a mechanical device, obviously. Um, Basically, it's a really cool mod. Uh, it's got a lot of features that you were just like, wow. Um, I don't remember what I paid for mine. Let me see here really quick. Let me just Google this really quick here. So I could tell you how much they go for. I should have done this beforehand, but I just didn't. Okay, so on Vapor DNA. Oh. Okay. Um, Vapor DNA, they're going for $149.99, and that is a, um, like a, not an overstock website, essentially, um, but it's a cheaper website. Um, so it says listing price is $179.99, and our price is $149.99, um, and currently they're out of stock. So they're a very popular mod. They've got a high demand. Um, I've... I didn't know this when I bought mine. I just thought it looked cool, to be honest with you. Um, it had all the features that I was looking for in a mod. So essentially, they're going for $180. Um, you can get them for $150. I think I paid around the $150 range. Um, and that's just for the box. So it's not a cheap mod. It's very high-end, high-class mod. So let's just get into my review. I've given you all the statistics about it. Um, let me get into my review and what I think personally of mod. So what do I think of this mod? What, what would I rate it? What do I feel like are the pros and the cons of this mod and would I buy it again so I would give this mod probably a 6 out of 10 why one it's a gorgeous mod right it's so pretty you see that and you're like whoa what is that it feels heavy it feels nice it feels luxurious and expensive it was very expensive um it doesn't it's like it just feels nice um and obviously it's a gorgeous looking mod however if you do not have a brand spanking new, Mary, sorry, let me just this, this, brand spanking new married batteries, they're not going to work in this. So this is a brand new pair of batteries here. And as you can see, it's working just fine. Now you're like, why the fuck are you tilting it, right? Because if you don't have brand new batteries in here, which I have learned, I just went and bought new batteries, so I can't show you, unfortunately. Um, I'll add a clip after this clip. If um, my boyfriend gets home and I can borrow a pair of his. Um, it'll be like this and then you'll turn it and it'll just like shut off. And it's not this because it is completely 100% closed. It makes full connection. It makes full connection to the batteries. There's nothing wrong with this mod. It's got to be some kind of glitch um, in the system or the software. And every time that like I let it shut off like if I just let it sit for a minute it says new coil and I'm not quite sure what's going on with that um I'm gonna start really quick here. the 510 connector um is great it's solid um I had no problems with that at all everything else about the mod is completely solid I haven't had any problems with the buttons sticking um I haven't had any problems with any other glitches aside from that weirdness um but it just that's such a big problem for me um because if i hold it like this and I hit it and then i want to turn around and hit it it's like i can't <laughs> because i have to hold here um and like shake the mod around a little bit to get it to hit again on that side and that is so frustrating for me would I buy it again? If they fix the glitch, yes. As of right now, no. I wouldn't buy it again. I wouldn't waste your money. Which is sad to say. If you can deal with that glitch and that's not a problem for you and you want it so bad because of the way that it looks, go for it. Buy it. But that is the biggest pain in the butt. I don't want to have to go buy all new batteries every time I buy a mod. That's why I buy nice quality batteries so that I don't have to continuously buy them. Uh, simply because of the fact that if they're not brand new, they're not going to work in my mod. Um, so that's just a huge problem for me. I just, I don't appreciate that. The connection is awesome. It vapes like a champ. No problems there. I have a fan going. <laughs> it's so hot. It's like 80 degrees here and it's only 9 o'clock. 9.04. Um, so 
it's a good mod yeah you know but it's it's just so frustrating <laughs> with that problem I keep looking up because my eyebrows look really bizarre in the mirror um so it's not a horrible mod it's really not um it's got some problems that it definitely needs to work through um and I feel like if uh, I haven't updated the chip yet that's another thing I wanted to say if I were to update the software maybe that's a glitch that they fixed with the update and if that's the case I will let you guys know I promise to keep you updated um that's like my biggest pet peeve is when youtubers like I'll keep you updated and then you're like bitch where <laughs> you know six months later no update um so I'll let you know when I update it if that did or did not work am I going to get rid of the mod no absolutely not it's a beautiful mod um it's just that's like the biggest pet peeve in the world so um, that is my review of the Cartel Revenant. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, want me to do any reviews on anything else, um, my boyfriend and I just, just purchased a huge order of juice, um, from elixirs.com. I'll have their link down below. They have awesome discounted juice. Um, so we bought like, like a thousand dollars, like a lot of juice. <laughs> Um, and so basically we're going to review the company, if it's worth a discounted price, if you should just pay the extra couple of bucks to get you something a little bit more high end. Um, what am I vaping right now? I get that asked a lot. Right now, I'm vaping the, the cows on my name soon. This is the, um, Mimi's Cream French Toast Peaches and Cream. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> um, originally there's a juice called Agnes, and of course I'll have links to everything down below where you can buy this guy, information, regardless. Um. But I had Agnes, and it was a, oh, it was like a peach something, peach dessert of some form. Oh, and it was so good, but they discontinued it um, from the shop that we are going to anyway, and I just haven't had to look it up. It's not that important to me, I guess, because we're always trying new things constantly, like flowing. Right now, we probably have over 150 bottles of juice. Um, and then my vape shop brought in this guy. Um, again, our vape shop knows me and my boyfriend <laughs> so well. We're, we're VIP members. Um, we spend way too much money there is essentially what that means. But whenever he gets something new in, he'll always bring it out and let us try it um, for a review. And they let us buy stuff that's on shelf set as long as we give him our feedback at a discounted price. Um, as long as we give him our feedback. And he brought this out one day and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so it did not disappoint me. It's phenomenal. Uh, I came back in and I was like, bring this in. So... Nobody else really was into it, but he brings in five bottles every time he orders juice just for me to buy because <laughs> I have an obsession. Um, so that's enough of my rambling. That's my review on this guy. If you guys have any further questions, want me to review anything else, please comment down below. Like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and have a great day. Bye.